Shopify flow tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up the Shopify flow into your store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. For those who doesn't know what is a Shopify flow, it is an app or an integration that you are going to implement into your Shopify store that will help you to create some automations and also some auto responses. For example, we are going to create, let's say here, an automation for setting up an email or an SMS that you are going to send to a certain person that you are going to plan on having, for example, a birthday, or for example, this person have uh, or um, has uh, forgot something into the uh, cart on the Shopify store of yours, or you're going to set up here something uh, more so you're going to click on the search bar at the top of your shopify header then you are going to type in flow only this is the step of the of course that you are going to make after you have created an account into your shopify and here we have the admin dashboard so we are going to search for it into the admin dashboard so you can go ahead and see it and find it right there, but I I have rather go ahead and look for it into the app store to make uh, things more clear. So this is the uh, Shopify flow uh, official app. We are going to click on it. It is a free app, so we need to uh, use it. If it is free, you just need to try it out, especially if it is a app or integration from Shopify. So you are going to click on install. Then we are going to give the permission for the app to be installed and here we have it as you can see it is right there we are going to pin it to our navigation and then we are going to drag it at the top here so we are not going to use the side of it so we're going to do the same thing here boom now as you can see the dashboard is pretty much uh, very simple we have some news as you can see we have the workflows right there you can import some workflows if you have and also you can browse some uh, preset templates as you can see so here we have a payment reminder sent after a due date or capture payment if order is not high for risk and a lot of automation so this is a very very uh, sophisticated and very uh, useful tool this Tool or this integration reminds me of Zapier. So Zapier is basically a, a, speci a specific platform that help you create some zaps, and those zaps are going to make, for example, an integration between two platforms like Shopify and WhatsApp. So you are going to set up, for example, an alert or a notification to the customer uh, WhatsApp number for buying things or getting something like that. Now I'm going to exit the uh, the template, so we can go ahead and click on create um, here workflow. So you can still browse the templates or select a trigger, for example. And here, as you can see, you are going to see the uh, uh, the list of the triggers that we have. So generally, right there, you are going to use Shopify or any of the installed apps that will have this feature so we are going to click on shopify so let's do this the first step here as you can see so we are going to search for shopify here product and we are going to see here some related products so here product deleted variant added variant deleted so here a variant or the product is uh, back to the store, back in store. So this is a, uh, let's say here a trigger. If the variant is back in stock, so we are going to notify the clients about it. So they will have to come and get it. So here we are going to set up a condition. Maybe here we have a condition and action. If for example, add a variable, so product variant, this is it, available for sale, yes, so we are going to available for sale equal to true, 
So you are going simply to click on thin and now we are going to add an action. So here the action is going to be here set up for multiple, as you can see here, uh, choices for integrated apps. We have emails and etc. So we are going to see here uh, the uh, list of Shopify options. So we're going to see here if customer are, are available for the notification, add customer tags, note, meta field, get customer data. So we are going to see here the email, sent e marketing email, yes. And that marketing email is going to be here from Shopify emails. So you are going to uh, require editing the, here the template of the email. So you need to create one uh, email that is going to be here uh, specific for uh, back in stock. And also you need to collect some beforehand uh, here, some customer data. And then you are going simply to turn on the workflow. You can go ahead and get the uh, logic working. And also you can add some other conditions and step two actions and etc so i'm going to exit that step and i will let you see here how we can see the workflows or the template workflow so you are going to browse the template again and you're going to see here the categories so we have some categories and as you can see also we have some apps that we can use with, with the integration so basically the most of the automation right there or the flows are set to uh, here manage or know how your store will work correctly and not. So you are going to know when, for example, uh, the uh, products that you have are going to be uh, well organized and also well set or if it is not. Uh, this is the case that you are going to have some stuff working on here and you are the manager so you are not going to be here all the time so for example here we are going to see the uh, option or the workflow of sending email summary with all unfulfilled orders older than two days so you are going to click on this workflow you're going to schedule uh, here the uh let's say the app or the workflow so you are going to see it right there this is just an example so you are going to do that you can go ahead and click on install and install it directly from here so i'm going to hide this so i'm going to click on install and here we can go ahead and modify it so for the start date we are going to modify it by the calendar it is a little bit late uh, here about two years so we are on here uh, let's say that we are on October October 23 so then the start time is going to be here 5 a.m. or we are going to set it as 8 a.m. for example so this is the first thing and then you can go ahead and set up here the uh, internal email so make sure that everything is going to be well here email address so i'm going to modify that jack smith like that this is just an example so you are going to put it like this boom it will send up here the email to this email or to this internal address and here you are going to get the count the order data the sum and also is going to be here this is the condition if uh, something is greater than zero it is going to be declared uh, right away so when you finish setting up the uh, workflow you are going to turn on workflow and here we have it so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i'll see you soon on the next one